Hey there, my name is Gabriel Barofano from GB Voice Academy, and today I want to focus on the common mistakes my Brazilian clients have when trying to speak with an American accent or an English accent. Now, I have several accent reduction Brazilian clients, and I'm finding that there's a common thread among all of my clients. So what I did is I isolated specific topics that I find the most common amongst my Brazilian clients, and we're gonna cover that today. And stick around, because throughout this whole video, we're gonna be going through actual exercises to work through these issues to help you get closer to mastering the American accent. All a uh, the company, the company. Now I'm absolutely in love with the Brazilian culture. I love the food, the people, the warmth, and I have several Brazilian friends. And being South American, I hold Brazil very close to my heart. So now starting with the first sound, this is the on sound. I'm hearing this a lot in words like company, construction. Confess. This might sound familiar to you, right? It's the on, on, on sound that the Brazilian speakers creates. So what I like doing in my methodology of the accent reduction process, by the way, I have a link to my patent pending five-star best-selling rated accent reduction course just below here. Going from where you are, what sound you're creating now, and then from there physically going to the American sound. So in other words, we're making a transition from where you are to the American sound and back. So then we start realizing physiologically what we are doing differently. I could say what the right pronunciation is, but that's not gonna help you. We need to physically know how we go from where you are to where you need to be. So in my target map system, we have a sound called a which is target number eight. This is the uh sound. So what you're gonna notice about this sound is that it's forward and tight and in front of my teeth. Uh, uh, try it with me. Uh. These are words like cup, tuck, duck. Do you notice that it's out here versus dok, kop, on, on, uh. So let's make that transition from where you are, on, company, confess, on, to the eight target. So I'm gonna do it with you very slowly and really try to see if you could feel the physiological change. Ready? On, on, as in company, on, ah, 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 ah. See how it's more open and forward, company, company, company. Yeah? Let's go on to another word. Confess. Con, con, confess. On, con, on. See how brighter and more forward that sounds? Confess. 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 So you notice that it's the number eight target, which is in my target map system, is a tight forward sound that resonates in front of your mouth versus inside. On, ah. Let's use another word. Understand. Understand. On. Again, let's make that transition from where you are to the number eight ah sound. Understand. Oh. Ah. Understand. Ah. It's like you're opening your mouth and letting it come out. Now, be careful. We don't want to open our mouth too much or else it becomes the 12 target, which is ah, uh, ah. Uh. We don't say company, it's eight, company. It's not confess, ka, ka, confess. Construction, ka, ka, construction. Ah, 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 on, ah, on, ah. You're starting to hear that pattern, right? Because again, I could say what it is all day long, but if we don't get to where you're at and make that transition, it's about transitioning into the sound, right? We're not just learning how it is, but transitioning into it. That's my methodology in general for accent reduction, and I find it very, very helpful. I go from where you're at to where you need to be. Now, another common mistake I find is the TH sounds, the hard TH, and the soft THs. I notice that Brazilians tend to use the D sound, D, like that, this, them, there, they. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go from where we're at, da, 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 and we're gonna transition into this TH sound. So, I want you to get your tongue, and I want you to stick your tongue out. Literally like this. Uh-huh. Now, I want airflow coming through. This is the hard TH we're gonna focus on right now. 
Aha, uh -huh. it feels weird, doesn't it? The key is, is you want to support from the diaphragm and let that airflow come out. Here's a good trick I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper, blank piece of paper. Now, I have a link to this specific sound. I'm gonna leave it in the description. It's a challenge among a lot of accents, but I have the link below here so you could use that to practice with. A good way of, of really producing that hard TH sound is using a piece of paper, for example. <laughs> You see how the paper is moving? The air have, has to come out versus the, this, there, this, there, those. Now it's gonna feel like we're overdoing it. I can't go out in public and say, this is very good. Those are awesome. Overdoing it here in the studio with me is gonna make it easier when you're out there in public trying to produce that a TH sound. So let's go through these words specifically. So like I said, let's overdo it here and then throw it into a sentence, okay? The, the, let the airflow come out, the. Let's add company into it. The company, not the company, the company. The ka, remember that eight? The company, there you go. Now let's just throw it away. I work for the company. See how it's there, but it just flows so quickly that sometimes we don't hear the specificity of that sound. That's why we need to slow things down and work out the specifics of each sound. Now let's add another word to the eight target that we were working on. That, that versus that, that, that that, overdo it. Support from the diaphragm, let the airflow come out. Now let's add it to a word that we were working on earlier with the target A. The construction worker. The, the ka. Remember this one? Gon, gon, ka, ka, ka. The construction worker. So you notice that the flow is coming out. Everything is coming out versus the con, the construction, the con, the ka. So everything is projecting out and more fluid. The construction worker works for the company. Okay, we're kind of merging all these Brazilian uh, challenges together so you could start feeling that flow of, oh, I get it now. I'm seeing where everything sits. Because we could, again, we could talk about it all day long. You could watch videos, you could hear about it, but if you don't get up on your feet and actually do them with me, we're not gonna learn. We need to train your body to make these sounds that you're just not used to making. Okay, another one. This, this versus this, 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 coming out, right? This is understandable. Ah, uh, under, under, understandable. Ah. Uh. So now let's put it together. This is understandable versus this is understandable. This is understandable. Again, flowing out. Very good. There versus there. Them, right? Versus them, them, them them. So in addition to this video, check out the video links that I'm leaving you down in the, in the description. It also works specifically for these specific TH sounds. Because remember, this is like going to the gym. I'm your personal trainer. The only way, and I've done this for years, and I've helped several clients from all over the world, and I can tell you now, the only way you could ever learn the American English sound is by practice. Obsessive practice every day, just like going to the gym. If you walk into a gym and say, I want to look like that guy. Well, you gotta work out. You can't just hope it happens or watch videos on how to work out to make muscles. You gotta train. Good job. So practice this every day if you can, as long as you can, to really train your muscles to, to not get in the way. Because your, your muscles are gonna fight you on this. They're gonna be like, no, this feels uncomfortable. I, I've never done this before. I don't feel like, it takes effort and concentration. But like anything, if you do it long enough, it's just gonna flow. Now make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because I have these videos coming out on a regular basis to work on Brazilian as well as many other common issues among many accents around the world. And again, below is my link to my five-star best-selling accent reduction course. It's got testimonials from people all over the world. It's helped them and it could help you master the American accent.